Hi, welcome back. So, uh, I've been shopping. Uh, I'm going to show you also what happens with um, with all the stuff I have stashed here. Um, so, um, I'm saving my stuff here that I, I still can't use, like uh, this Royal Commander hel helmet. Um, so, and uh, let's see here. Grey Warden heavy gloves that uh, were Alistair, and now I have him wearing tier 5. These are tier uh, 2 that um, are stashed in the box. These are my gloves, they are tier 1. The ones I bought were tier 5. Um, so, what I, what I want to happen is that next time I've come here, they have scaled up. So what I'm worried about is that the stuff in here uh, that is like Royal Commander gloves that is tier 8. I'm not sure if it's a scalable set of armor so if I come back it might actually be a, be a lower tier because the tier adjusts to the tier you, you are when you uh, check the box once you left and come back. So we might be able to see uh, what has changed. Uh, so uh, yeah, maybe you know, Alistair should wear this one instead. Armor, defense, mental five percent chance to. Oops. Um, actually, I'm gonna swap it around. I'm gonna use that now. Uh, so the fade armor uh, is no tear at the moment at all. It just says special. Um, so these are my old robes, tier one, and these are Alistair's old armor, tier two. So. Um, also, uh, another thing, every time I reload uh, and I go to shop, um, the armor changes slightly. Uh, so I had to reload a bunch of times, um, but I couldn't afford to buy uh, the Grey Warden heavy armor and everything in silverite. So right now, Alistair is only wearing this chest piece in silverite and his boots and gloves are um, red steel. Um, so this is what he had, grey iron, and now he's wearing red steel. And the gloves, uh, arcing gloves, these are mine, red steel, these are Alistair's, tier 2. Yeah, so um, anyway, um, so let's get out of here. So what happened last time I left um, was I just wanted to go back to camp and sell stuff and then start recording again. Uh, but I actually got ambushed by um, Stian. So I decided to reload and uh, and do this. Uh, because I wasn't recording then, so I decided to reload. So let's see if I get ambushed again. And if I don't, I hope that... Uh, uh, that I'm not gonna miss out on this uh, on this <sighs> conversation. The blight. How will you end it? Oh, good. So I'm going to role play this. This might mean that I am going to make him disapprove. Let's see where we go. Uh, okay, so Stan comes up to me as we are camping, and um, I'm just gonna ask. Well, I'm just going to say, why do you ask? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Uh, what have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Hmm. Um... I think I'm going to ask, uh... Well... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm really... I, as a person, I'm really curious. What do you think you could do better? Um, 
but Dalen is kind of cocky and he doesn't understand the Kunaris at all. Uh, he's not going to go, I'm new to the Wardens. Um, he'd probably go like, I'm not here to impress you. But what do you think you could do better? Hmm, I really want to know what he says there. Hmm. What? You think you could do better? Actually, yeah, he says, what? You think you could do better? He doesn't say, what could you do better? So I'm gonna go, I'm not here to impress you. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. <laughs> oh! He approved! Shit. Okay, last time he disapproved. <laughs> Alright, so, um... I'm going to go to Bowden and sell the rest of my junk and I'm going to force you to watch it or you can... If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I... Sorry, I just uh, hit the keys there to get this dialogue over with because that's what he says all the time. Right, so... Um, I'm going to sell these. There we go, and um, right. Oh shit! I should have done this off screen. And there we go. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, right. I need to pick out the uh, the runes from this one. And I should have uh, I should have checked if there were any runes, but I can do that when we go back. Uh, right, so I have this stuff. And Dayland has one that is better. Much, much better. So who could use this stuff, Win? Uh, no. Yes. No. See, I'm going to do like this and I'm going to show you instead. Um. Oh yeah, she can't use it. Require 36 magic. And but you should have that by now, Morrigan. Um, so I'm going to miss out on the force, force, uh, plus four spell power and the plus two magic. Um, but so we're going to watch out for these two. Uh, the little hand, 38 here, it's spell power, so it's 32 plus 6, and this is the m damage she makes, 13.6. And it didn't show any changes. Let's see if I can reload. So, okay, so that was a bug, uh, it didn't switch. So this is actually better, 30 plus 8 and 13.6. And so she should continue using cold, um, things that up her cold, and maybe we'll give her some more cold spells. Um, okay, so can Wynne use her stuff then? No, I don't think so. It's the same. <laughs> so I can sell this. Uh, and Laliana? Where are you? There you are. Um, so no... This actually gives plus two dexterity. But this was the one she used, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. 
so I can sell this one um, because I don't think that Severin can use it. He can. And it gives him a better attack. Okay, I'll um I'll sell the Antiven longbow then as well. Right, um so and Stian I saved something for you, didn't I? Um you still can't use this. And yeah, so we're gonna remove the um enchanting done on the Royal Commander Longsword. So Sandal? Enchantment? Yes. I want some enchantment done. Uh, right, so this one has three, and uh, let's see if we have, let me just grab all of these, this one has nothing, everybody has, oh, Severn has two, we can put some stuff on it, but um, I want to use Alistair more than Severn, so, uh, just to reduce movement speed. Um, let's see if there's anything here. No, Grandmaster Frustrant, so let's give him a little bit of cold damage as well. And do we have anything else? Physical resistance, okay. So now we have chance to reduce movement speed, 15 physical resistance, and plus 5 cold damage. I'm going to exchange this for a chance to uh, paralyze or something like that when I find any of those runes. Okay, so <coughs> his uh, uh, Severance Dagger here. Um, so the only thing I have, I think, is just, you know, um, damage on dead, electricity damage, just give him some more electricity damage, and, um, Um, damage and that no. Let's give him cold damage. There we go. Okay. Uh, I guess this is, this is it. Just check. So you and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good have, to have. Um, I'm sure you'll be. Any runes I want to buy, but I only got eight gold, so I can't afford the really good ones. Physical resistance is actually okay. No, you know what? Um, okay, let's save and let's go back to. Uh, to Soldier's Peak to see if anything has happened with the equipment I left there. Got it. Yes. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> All right. So, oh, nothing has happened. There they are, still tier one. I 
guess they're not scalable or they should be though um, they should be scalable maybe I need to go somewhere else and then come back You know... Doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so that didn't work. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to camp and I'm going to have a chat with uh, every single one of my party uh, to get the friendship up or down and uh, since I just picked up Severin I'm going to speak especially to him so um, since I'm role playing this so um, in my stories Dan pulled me aside uh, we talked for a bit and uh, I'm going to have a chat with my best friend first, Alistair. Something on your mind? I have some questions. Of course. So, um, um, what changes you after the joining? You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? You become, uh, you have been a Grey Warden longer than I have. Um, I mean, what changes physically? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too, and all I got was, you'll see. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I gotta just try that line on me. Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret, it's just that the Grey Wardens don't discuss it much. I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The first change I noticed was an increase in appetite. I used to get up in the middle of the night and raid the castle larder. I thought I was starving. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last, <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so it was a joke. I haven't felt anything like that. Really? I saw you eating dinner the other day. Savage. <laughs> Yes, well, Belchers. Ah, yes, the classy camaraderie of two men traveling out in the open. I take it you were like this before the joining, then. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. Duncan said it was part of how we sense the darkspawn. We tap into their, well, I don't know what you call it, their group mind. And when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. How is it for you? Um, well, nightmares, yes, I know what you mean. Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Everyone ends up the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. Um, bad news, I take it. Spit it out. Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you that part, did we? Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. You've got 30 years to live. Give or take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. Okay, so if I had known this information before we went to Soldier's Peak, I might have actually uh, drank that potion that um, was standing there waiting for me to be drunk. <laughs> uh, so that's... Uh, part of the roleplay, that's why I didn't do it. I didn't understand that uh, that I had this death sentence uh, as a Grey Warden. Yeah. 
So, um, so it's a really sweet tradition that the Grey Wardens go, oh, sweet and sweet, but it's a, it's a tradition that the Grey Wardens go to Ozamar and die in battle, facing Darkspawn rather than becoming uh, husks of living corruption. So, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to go, so why Ozamar? You'll always find Darkspawn down where the dwarves are. The oldest Grey Wardens head to the deep roads for one last glorious battle. Not that there's a shortage of Darkspawn during a blight, but that's the tradition. The dwarves respect us for it. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. And there you have it. Mm, oh, I just want to po point out, I am not sure I told you about the potion that we saw last time when we were at uh, Solar's Peak. But that would actually make the Grey Warden live longer. Uh, so it's a, like a long liberty thing. Mm, okay. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go. Seems a high price. It is a high price to pay. But I do understand. I never wondered that I understand. You know, Duncan, he started having the nightmares again told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. Mm, if you go back, in the lore it actually says that Duncan died. Um, but if you go back and you watch that um, cutscene, you never really see his head roll. You see a darkspawn rush towards him. So... You know, I'm hoping that somewhere Duncan is alive still. You never know. I really like that Duncan character. He's one of my absolutely favorites. So, well. Um, <laughs> he got what he deserved. <laughs> no. If this is all we have to look forward to, dot, 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 he will be remembered, Alistair. As will the others. I know. Ending the blight should make this all worthwhile, right? Okay, so now I've got Alistair at 69. Um, so I'm going to go and have a chat with Wyn. What's on your mind? Um, oh, haven't I done this? Are you feeling better now? Oh, uh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. Um, I like making sure all my companions are well. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It certainly warms these rickety old bones. <laughs> Okay, so moderate willpower, and she's already up at 50, so that's good. Um, I'll go, I've spoken to Stian, he ambushed me. Uh, I might ask him one more thing, you know, when I'm at it. Ooh, I gotta save, just in case. So he's now, Stian is now at... Uh, 51. You called. Um, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. Very well. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Oh, that's enough for now. Okay, then so I, I can't talk to him right on. now. Okay, let's go. As you wish. Okay, goody, goody. Um... I'll go pet my dog. Your dog is filthy. I can smell him 50 yards off. <laughs> Good, he will fell our enemies with his stench. That may be so, but all the same, I would like your permission to bathe him. Oh, bathe? Can't you just wave your staff and make him clean? <laughs> I'm I'm a magician too, so I know that's not true. Uh, can't you just not smell him? 
He's a warhound, not some pampered and pow powdered lapdog. Go ahead, he's getting a little rank. <laughs> I'll actually do that one. I've always chosen he's a warhound, not some pampered and powdered lapdog, but I'll I'll let her do it. <laughs> Excellent. I will get my soaps and the dog shall have his bath after supper. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so... Um, the thing... I was going to go talk to Mara again, but I just realized that she's at 41 already and interested. So I'm not going to do that because I'd like to have a little bit of flirting going on with Zebram before the whole uh, jealousy drama starts. I think it starts at 37, so it might be too late, but okay, so I'm going to go and have a chat with my new companion. Here I am. Right, care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Um. So, why did you want to leave the crows exactly? Well, now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? Uh, right. Um, he already told me that he didn't choose to join the crows. Uh, but I'm going to be a little bit suspicious of him, uh, though uh, Dalen is quite interested. He finds him, you know, wow, he's actually a crow, you know, famous crow, an assassin. That's so cool. And he's kind of pretty as well. And he was flirting with me, so? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I would put it precisely that way. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. Um, and that system works? Actually, I'm, so you had a hard life, big deal. You know, because maybe I consider I had a hard life as well, but I think I had a really... I think even if it was hard in the circle and, you know, um, constantly being watched and you're trained to become uh, this powerful weapon of magic, um, it's not It's not really the same. You're pampered, you have food, uh, you get to study, etc. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go like, okay, so that system works? Of course. You compete against your fellow assassins and those who survive are rightfully proud of it. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth, gets you women and men, or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. <coughs> Sorry. Um, uh, so what is it you fancy exactly? Hmm, why didn't you just leave then? Um, so what is it you fancy exactly? I fancy many things. I fancy things that are beautiful <laughs> and things that are strong. I fancy things that are dangerous and exciting. Would you be offended if I said I fancied you? Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, but I'm a man. <laughs> now I'm gonna go, no, not at all. Because, you know, I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> This is good to know. As for what I'll do in the future, <laughs> love love. presuming that there is one, <laughs> I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. Um, so, and I'm gonna be, and when you get the first chance to betray me? And be slaughtered? 
perish the thought. Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. <laughs> oh, God. So he disapproves. The bastard. So he's on minus now. Uh, no, he's on zero. Uh, I'll have one more chat with him. Mm -hmm. Care to answer some questions? All right. But I get to stare at you luridly while you do so. I love it. <laughs> Um, so, do you actually enjoy being an, an assassin? And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You are respected, uh, you are feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? No, I don't disagree. Um, you never killed an innocent? Now there is an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But if you're talking generalities, such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, never on purpose, but it happens. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease, or a fall down the stairs, or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. Hmm. I suppose that's true. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. As far <laughs> as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. Um, I'm not gonna go... I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, I take no pleasure in killing. I take the pleasure in the fight, but not... Uh, I'd say I enjoy violence myself, but I wouldn't say I take pleasure in the killing. Exactly. So this would be my, I take pleasure in the fight, but not the actual killing, I guess. <laughs> you enjoy getting the blood flowing, whether it is yours or others? Yes, I know the type. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules. Oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Um, pff, why not? You can do whatever you like. Don't you have any other skills? Handsome elf like yourself. I can think of a few things. <laughs> I mean professionally. Or maybe you mean professionally as well. Perhaps you intend to peddle my services to bored Ferelden noblewomen. It is an interesting thought, but I've always removed my clothes strictly on an amateur basis. A talented amateur, of course, but an amateur nonetheless. Of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. All right. <clears throat> So now I got him up to four, and uh, let's see what I have in my inventory. Um, blue satin shoes, and um, so this I think this is a Severn gift. We can uh, we can check. There we go, Severn. I think he likes stuff like this. I shall treasure it. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I got him up to 14. Goody goody. And, um. <coughs> oh, I need to check uh, who these are for. I know these, but uh, who these are for. Alright, uh, I haven't spoken to Liliana, so I'll do that. Um, something I can help with? I'd like to talk to you about yes? something. What's on your mind? Um, 
Why did you decide to come to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Um, was she not happy in Orle? She wasn't unhappy. We had a good life, and she liked Orle well enough. I loved it, though. Valroyo was so vibrant, colorful. Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. Uh, do you remember nothing of your mother? Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. So this uh, Andras's Grace is a flower that I gave her previously. I should have waited until we had this uh, conversation. Uh, right. Um, so I think I'm done for today. Uh, next time we're going to plan where we're going to go and what we're going to do next. So I have finished uh, r um, the Circle Tower. I need to find the ashes and to get uh, the Red Cliff soldiers on my side. We need to go to the Elves, we need to go to the Dwarves, and I need to go to Denerim to do a lot of uh, side quests, uh, like uh, finding this um, brother who might know where to find the ashes, etc. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, have a great day. Bye!